Hey guys, hope everyone's doing all right. I was planning on doing a little bit of a build slash guide stream today, showing off a firewall slash frozen orb source. These, I think, are picking up in popularity, but it's because they are quite strong. They can kill just about everything in the game without too much gear, and I know usually these guides show like end game gear, and it's a lot of people can never even get that, so I'm going to show that this build works without gear first, or without good gear, rather. So I stuck on a bunch of gear that you can get just about, most people can get in Nightmare. So, you know, I got some random stuff, some Sigons, three Sigons pieces, some random yellow rings with some resists, uh, and Magic Find, nothing crazy. I got this random Venom Ward breastplate, nothing nothing good level 20 required I had this tall Rosh's weapon which really isn't that great but I couldn't find anything worse to stick on a peasant crown a blue amulet with some all resistance and a little magic find and a spirit so this is the best thing I have on but I feel like most people can get a spirit fairly easy now um, the hardest part is to get to hell and then you can just farm mausoleum and uh, cow, or you probably can't farm cows right when you get to hell, but you can farm mausoleum until you get it, or just trade for it. People are giving these away for free at this point. So, I do have a uh, much better gear I'll show after I'm done showing that this does, in fact, work. And also, I don't have a torch. I have some random charms with resists on them, uh, and some magic find ones, and a geeds, but these aren't going to help me too much. And this is just to show that this build will, in fact, work without endgame gear. I'll go over my skills real quick. So this is a hybrid build. I do this because when you're playing through for the first time and even later, it's kind of annoying running into immunities. And this build can essentially clear everything um, with a reasonable speed. So starting with the cold, it is a frozen orb build. So we're going to max out frozen orb. Going to not quite max out cold mastery. Um, I put in enough points to try to get to a little over negative 100 enemy cold res. With my current gear, this isn't enough points, but when I stick on my other gear later, you'll see this is it's closer to 100. Actually, I think it's even further. I think it's like 130 or so. I put uh, one point into Shiver Armor, and I have 12 points in Ice Bolt because this is where I'm sticking points now as I level up, but I don't max it out. And that's because I want to max out some fire skills. Um, for the fire tree, I put in 9 in warmth. And this is because I'm alternating between uh, warmth and ice bolt at this point. It's just a synergy for firewall, which I did max out. You max firewall, it's a big source of damage. It's your boss killer, basically. It does tons of damage. You can see, even with the gear I showed you, this is doing 6,500 damage per second, which is pretty crazy. And I maxed out Fire Mastery. So, and for Lightning, it's just one in Teleport and one in Static. I didn't put anything in Lightning Mastery. That's from Talrash's weapon. So, those are the talents. As far as stats, I put in enough to wear a Spirit. I actually put in 145 because with my Torch, that gives me enough strength. Um... Nothing in dexterity, unless you're trying to go for max block, which I usually, I don't. I put everything else in vitality. Uh, simple enough there. So this build is going to have kind of phases. When you have uh, lackluster gear, you're just getting into hell, you're not going to be able to just jump in and start killing Nith attack right off the bat. You have to start farming the easier stuff. So I would focus on Mephisto and Dariel and Mausoleum. Uh, so I'll show you all three of those. And when you first first get to hell, even maybe Andariel and Mephisto may be too tough for you. In that case, you could just farm Mausoleum. It's kind of slow, but it is a level 85 area, and you will level up. It also helps that there's not a huge density in there, and there's lots of uh, chests to help you out. So you do have to be a little careful while you're gearing up. You are still a little squishy sorceress.
go straight to Mephisto, lure him over here, and just drop some fireballs. And you can see, even with my bad gear, he drops pretty fast. Easy enough, right there. I got uh, this war sword. And Dario's even easier. This is the first time I even used the Frozen Orb. Most of the time, I try to stick to Fire Wall until they're immune, but Frozen Orb is quite strong, even with his hybrid build. I have, it's doing 397 damage, which looks like a little bit, but it's quite a bit because it's every single little shard doing that damage. So I'll just kill some of these guys. They're immune to fire. Now, if you want to be sneaky, you can just start dropping Fire Walls like this. And then I try to get Indaryl to chase me through them. Oh, she didn't chase me through it. Oh, but it looks like I did hit her, hit her a little bit. If you have a mercy... Oh, so there you go. She just kind of walked through and died. And there's a ring. All right, cross your fingers, guys. Oh, man. Garbage. 21%. Yikes. That's not... Uh... That's not worth keeping, okay. So the last place I would recommend running before you get good gear is the mausoleum, which a lot of people never even go there. But it is, oh, let me get some potions real quick. It is a level 85 area, which means it can drop anything in the game. You can get really lucky the first time you come in here as a level 75 sorceress and get a Tyrael's Might and then uh, be rich right from the start, so. Mausoleum, weirdly enough, is actually how I kind of start leveling. Usually as soon as I get to hell, I'll start farming it until I'm level, like, high 70s, and then I'll progress on my own. That's just usually how I do it until I can farm Andy, and then I'll farm both of them. All right, so if you go to Cold Plains, it's going to be one of the two paths. It's hard to say which one. Okay, well, it's not that one because that's going to a cave. The path split again. But as long as you follow the path, you're either going to get to Burial ground, burial Grounds or Stony Field. Burial Grounds is where we want, though. So you just hop on in here. The firewalls are funny. They're also kind of hard to... Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, good. I thought I was disconnecting for a second. Um, they're also kind of hard to aim. This is... As you play this build more, you'll get better. Um, but it's wherever you're aiming... And you click, it will be like perpendicular. So if I click right here, it's going to make a long fire that way. But if I'm looking down and I click over there, oh, it still did it. It's kind of diagonal. But you can kind of see it's perpendicular. So if I want it to be like uh, this long ways, I have to aim that direction and click. If I want it to be diagonal, I kind of click. Yeah. yeah. So it is a little tricky, but you get better at it as you play longer. I didn't, it's been a little bit since I've played this. But uh, either way, once you're in the mausoleum, uh, there is nothing cold immune in here, and your frozen orb is going to kill all of these guys really easily. And then if you, whenever you run into a boss pack, you can just drop a firewall on them, and they will melt very quick. So this is kind of budget gear. After you start gearing up, you're going to want to start looking for some nice things. You could use full Talrasha set to great success here if you can afford it. Um, I don't use that, but there are various things, so I'll go ahead and start equipping my stuff. I don't have a Sorceress Torch yet. I got like every class except for Sorceress and Paladin. I've run Ubers, I think, five times. I just haven't gotten lucky enough. But I have a little Assassin Torch just for some resistance here. I'm using Heart of the Oak. 
I also have an Oculus, but I really hate randomly teleporting around. Uh, Tal Rosh's plate is nice. I have a Dwarf Star Ring. This is very good for the Gold Find, as well as the Fire Absorb. When you're in Travancore or Mephisto, those uh, the council members, their Hydras don't hurt you at all, pretty much. Just Fire Absorb. I could just stand at them, and I am pretty lazy, so it's nice. I got one Stone of Jordan. Shanko with a P Topaz. Some middle of the road war traps here. Mage Fist. And you could sacrifice some of these pieces for more magic find if you want. Like uh, Gold Wrap or um, Chance Bracers. But I do like some kill speed and I like to be a little beefy so I don't die. And on my Switch. I do have a call to arms and another spirit just to boost that up. As you're gearing up, if you are looking for upgrades to trade for something, the first thing I would recommend getting is a call to arms. This is a very poorly rolled one with just one of battle orders, but this is going to help you more than the vast majority of items. It just increases your HP so much and your mana as well. It's a huge quality of life improvement after you get it. So after you have all this gear, you can see now my do I have everything equipped okay let me shout I'll do a nith attack run since everything else is done in this match and then I'll start a new one to show you Mephisto so you're gonna do your little shouts my HP is now 1767 I'm capped on resists except for poison I like to keep an antidote in my inventory though, but that's just preference. My firewall now does 11k damage per second, and my frozen orb does about 500, which is more than it sounds. Very quick. You can watch a video if you didn't know on Nith Attack. There's only three different maps, so you always know where to go. If the waypoint is up in the top right like this, it's always going to be down and to the left, and you can even make a little pit stop right down here. There's always going to be a little chest right here, which I don't have a key for, but it is there nonetheless. It's going to be right here, down to the left, and then you just look for the eyes on the wall, so no eyes. Here's the eyes right here in that wall, so he's going to be this way. And that's attack. Uh, where'd he go? He teleported. I lost him. Or did I kill him? Oh, okay. I killed him. Well, see. It took one firewall. I thought I lost him, but he's dead. Now, for my mercenary, the mercenary really isn't needed. I have uh, infinite mana even without mercenary, but he is nice. I have him with a ethereal force socketed insight on a cryptic axe. I would prefer a giant thresher or something because it's faster, but, you know, it's not bad. He has a duress which I, just, I happened to make a while back for uh, the crushing blow for a different character. But uh, still nice. I think Treachery is going to be better and Fortitude is going to be even better. And just a vamp gaze that I found the other day for lifesteal to keep him alive. Alright. So you saw the poor, poorly geared Mephisto run. Now I'll show you the more geared Mephisto run. You're going to shout at your bodyguard so he can live. And you can very quickly teleport through here. Now, it's always going to be the last spot you check if you are unlucky like myself. But it is better to go left. Oh, look at that. I jinxed myself. Jinxed myself to be lucky. Wow, I should keep doing that. So, now that you're more geared, you want to kill the council members. Sometimes they will kill your bodyguard if you're not careful, especially if they have Conviction Aura. So keep an eye out for that. It doesn't look like they have Conviction Aura, but I can just go over here. Drop a few um, firewalls. You see, they're just, they always they all melt. Every now and then they'll be um, they'll be immune to fire, and then you just throw a few orbs. <laughs> yeah, some people are really organized with their stash. They'll put stuff in like order. I do try to have my runes in order of like um, level, you know, high runes and whatnot. Oh, and see, there's a a unique. Bloodlord, I do like to kill those guys as well. Alright, these guys actually were kind of stingy with their gold. They only gave me like 7,800 here, but I've gotten much more from them. Sometimes I get like 50k drops. Uh, 
Nash's Puzzler. This isn't bad for a teleport staff. I don't think anyone is giving anything for it, but we'll see. Maybe I need a teleport staff on somebody. Uh, I also like to go to the left and right because there's often a special guy here, and there's always a council member. Sometimes they like to run away, and sometimes I can't aim, but that's okay. Then I go to the opposite side real quick and kill this guy. You can click on the, there's always chest on each side. I don't even bother mode tricking with gear like this. My bodyguard can just tank him for half a second while he melts three firewalls and he'll go down really fast. And actually I think I need one more topaz so I can have a perfect topaz. All right, easy Mephisto runs. So usually, I think the most efficient way to play this guy is to run Mephisto and Nith attack. Those two are gonna be the most efficient. You can do Ancient Tunnels as well. Oh, do you look at that? A gold. Nice. I'm not a fan of pits on this character. There's a good amount of cold immunes, and I don't like swapping between Frozen Orb and Fire too much. I'll show you chaos, and hopefully I don't get killed. I usually don't, but you do have to be careful here. Then while you're waiting, drop a few firewalls. He'll usually land right on top of them. And there you go, there goes his HP. Oh, man, he casually walked out of it. All right, and uh, surrendering coal, I don't, don't need one of those. Surrendium, corindum, I forget, something with a C like that, okay. And I will also show Bale what this looks like. This is actually one of the fastest um, Bale killers. He's just really good at killing bosses. Firewall is really good at killing bosses. And I don't even have fire skillers. You could do way more damage. A few more points and this goes up. You can get it to like 16, 17k pretty fast. Bale is much easier than the waves. You just come in, do a few statics, drop a few firewalls on him, 
And he will go away. So that's the main way you get this guy to work. This is a type of character you play uh, towards the start of ladder. You can get gear really fast from Mephisto and all these guys, and then you can build up the characters that farm faster. So, like a Hammerden, of course. Once you don't, well, you don't need an Enigma, but if you get an Enigma, that's when you hop on over to the Hammerden, and then you just farm Chaos Sanctuary on repeat, and you'll get rich that way. And that's the firewall source. Super easy. You could put more points into fire and less into cold if you wanted to focus more on fire and just strictly farming non-fire immune areas like Mephisto and uh, Nithletag most of the time. Like maybe one in five games, maybe less, he'll be fire immune. In that case, you just lead the game. Or you could try to brave it out and use Frozen Orb on him. But... Either way, strong build. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. I'll be streaming again tomorrow, uh, similar time, so good luck. Have a good night, everybody.